What is up, y'all? Welcome back to Kick Plays Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Um, we are currently on uh, Yavin. Let's see, who do we want with us? We want Bindo, because he's got fucking healing powers. And you need to fucking level you up, so send you with us. And, um, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure and you need. what we need to do here. I guess we need to give him some fucking, I don't want to go through that many fucking, well, he, he won't be that many. Um, okay. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do here. I'm being completely honest with you. I was gonna auto you up. Uh, Cause I know the last, oh, I need to give Joey yes. some clothes. Um, I know the last star map is on uh, Korriban, right? Yeah, so... Strength gauntlets. Uh, and give you... I remember which lightsaber was yours. Yours was green, right? Yeah, give you a green one. Okay. Sure. What? Actually... Can we go back to the fucking ship? No. We're just here now. Okay. So I'm not sure exactly what we're supposed to do on uh, Yavin. But I guess we're gonna find out, right? That's what we're here for. <laughs> Yeah, I'm new. I'm very new. I am the Dark Lord, and I'm very displeased with you. I don't have time to stick around in this airlock. Let me in. Come on. I seek the pieces of a map to a star forge. Agi inko tune, chuna moli ra, tangi wama jikona, tong kipa nonku nek abog. What ruins? Tong hit wama agi inko tune, or tong hi wama ji agi inko tun, tong pa no kun, no nek, chi wi aita ka tong chicha, ki muli ra kun king, 
Kimba no Konik Dota Jiska Dosoki Kopa Bono Nakachu Labora na Winky Smack Toma Kuyami Jusku Chita Nai Uchua Penki Topa na Oto Bokasa Yubabato Kanchi Jatuka Ulan Chiwa Aita Kang Kicha na Chupornibo Kun Muli Ras Nimo Poywanga Tongi Tuama Ji Human Ak in Ikatune Tongi Tuama Ak Inkotune Potong hi mwa ma ji a ki nko tun Tong pa no kun no nek Chi wi ay ta ka chong chi cha Ki mu li ra kun king King ba no kun nik do cha Who are the transdotions? A chu a peng ki Yun pati sa Di chu ba ji kun ka na ga Kingu mwa muli radwana Inba ni chaloda kun Oh, sort of like rodents Jiska no soki, kopa bono nakachu Labora na winki smack toma Kuyami jusku chita nai Uchua penki, topa na oto bokasa Yubabato kanchi, jatuka ulan why are they here? Tong hi duama aki inko tune. Po tong hi duama ji aki inko tune. Tong pa no kun, no nek. Chi wi aita ka chong chi cha. Ki muli ra kun king. Inba no kun nik go cha. Chi wi aita ka chong chi cha. Agi inko tune chuna muli ra. Tong hi duama ji ko na. Tong hi pa no kun nek abog. Chiwa er aita kang ki cha na chupor nibo Kun muli ras nimo poi wanga Tong i tuama ji yuman ak ng ikatune Ki muli ra kun king Tong hi tuama ak i inkotune Do you have anything you'd be willing to sell me? Tong hi tuama ak i inkotune Po tong hi muama ji ak i inkotun Tong pa no kun no nek Chi wi aita ka chong chi cha Ki muli ra kun king King ba no kun nik do cha A chua penki Yun patisa Di chuba ji kun ka naga King bu mwa muli ra dwana In ba nik cha loda kun Jiska do soki Kopa bono nakachu Labora na winki smack toma Kuyami jusku chita nai Uchua penki Topa na oto bokasa, yubabato kanchi, jatuka ulan, ki muli ra kun king. Tong hi duama ag i inko tune. Alright, let's see what we got here. That's, that's it. Um. Well. I'm not spending $10,000 on that. Fuck that. Um, yeah, no. Okay, well, there's nothing here I want, so... Can I just... No. Wait. Seven hot, okay. Well, nothing doing there. Um, let's see, where is our workbench? Because I want to upgrade my lightsabers. Not back here. Goddamn fucking 
Skiska fucking still on a fucking ship. Uh, I need to get rid of those fucking things. Um. Aha! Here we are. Lightsaber. Okay. Let's upgrade this one for fucking Jolie. Um, any of you got any? Okay, there we go. And then let's upgrade this one. Actually, I like the green and violet with jelly. That's a nice little blend of colors. Although, hmm. Anything to upgrade on you? Okay, assemble. But you? No, nothing. All right. Well, with that done, let's go back. Move, Giska. Okay, let's go back here, and let's make our way to Korriban. Temple or something. We shall see, I guess. Let's 
Excuse me, Jabba. All right, and once again, taking Jolie and taking Candorous. Yikukuno no ba mulera tikun. Tong hit kun chun ching, ne boboje mata, ne punage, dulpi kikuana. Damn it. I, <clears throat> I am the Dark Lord of the Sith. Runda di hotonga kun hunkan. Wanna kun bez ching palamule, tong king ba hotak. And how do you know who I am? You're with the exchange. Kun <laughs> Bagra shakun tijaka umma. Chubakaha chopa chawachuish yunku. Jodo jidbunga rantang. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nunotak. Tuk ning chatu kun ne mule rabes. Get to the point. How do you know my true identity? Tug. Ga <laughs> Sources? What sources? Shagji locha wana wama? Kava volpa mulji gumana? Kinchun shishineng chene kung no bale mule raji kun? Wana monkuz bez chinga pula mulan tude rana prata dunko such a domam toma? Manaman atota! Haki jukrata bola shui chonga tong! Chongkino bunka mule ra kung kile. Kung kile no ba. Watende chokolo ono ono ku mule ra. Tong haitwam jiji jung lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. Yumalita kuto dun. Chila mulane ni du bobo. Onga kumbis chang ba mule ra. Chikun ita hodonga, ikin kuno ba mule ra chikun. Slimo po donar, rundi hodonga ku hunkabe. And how does this involve you? Tong abog sha umino, wanga kumbis keng balemuraya. Choni yon tun jiji ida duana, kababol ba muji kumana? And you're just going to give these items to me? Thought 
thank you. I believe I'll go check it out. Okay. Jedi come here often, do they? Takum just tak miki grabble mogo. Kachi chu aitha odonga tulpa da bonk molya gando da nago chuchut. Moga shampungpa bola wana chikni. Bamul ne slik mo poda na wanga kun beast muli rabest. Chipet wana ni bobo. Tonk na bung shanunya. Tonk patoga smaktelia. But I haven't left the light side. Takum justak miki grabal mogo. Kachi chu ai thao donga. Tulpa da bonk molya gando da nago chuchut. Moga shampungpa bola wana chikni. Bamul ne slik mo poda na wanga kun beast muli rabest. Kuya mi juz kachita naipatoga ya fulki kukula jiti. Kawana bota a ayut takwa. Ganki dora di kun watati mana itabola. Ui, itanadana yitya. Kunti chani. Tong batoga smaktelia. That's not really necessary, is it? Kuya mi juz kachita. Naipatoga ya fulki. Kukula jiti. Kawana bota a ayut takwa. I'll be on my... Actually, can I ask you some questions? Achuta! Wanga kun pistol piki in kunyana. Tung patoga smaktelia. Have you ever heard of a star map? Hakuche kopa. Gino muli ra king pajak. Slimo poiduana. I'll be on my way. Mucha shak pangpa. Inkin kun no ba muri rachikun. All right. No, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? Wata wama muli ra. Kin kun jope shak. No ba muli raji. Juni yu turung chi. We eat a dia. Bola una chinek. I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. A lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe? The Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards. Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Tunipudu! Rana nu prata dunk no sercha tichua penki! No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy. The other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should... Hmm. You, Jedi! You're looking to get at the academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. Well, if you can't think of anything cruel, you really shouldn't be out here, young man, should you? I wasn't talking to you. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning, yes. It's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide.
Why are you asking me? Please, tell him to let us go, I beg you. Silence. Why not ask you? I'm rather exhausted from dealing with hopefuls like these. I can barely think straight. Besides, I find it fun. Come now, the decision, please. Kill him. I don't care. My thoughts exactly. How lovely to encounter someone with such an agreeable disposition. And y'all have nothing for me. Not right now, thank you. Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony, led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before, have you? I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. You should turn around and move along, kid. You don't want the trouble we give you. <laughs> smart mouth newcomers to boot. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashon. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that? You can try to kill me. You'd fail, but you can try. Those are very brave words for such an insignificant person. Do you not realize how many Sith are here in Dreshde? Twelve. No, wait, thirteen. Nice one, old man. Thank you. It takes effort to be properly irreverent at my age. Let me kill this one, Lasho. Let me do it. Now, now, let's not be hasty. Perhaps our friend here could yet offer up some amusement. What do you say? Amuse us, make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. If you really want to fight, just make the first move. It'll be your last. What? <laughs> I think someone just stood up to you, Lasho. Shut up, fool, unless you want to be next. Yeah? Anytime. Stop it. This is boring. Let's just go back to the academy. Fine, we'll go. As for you, I'll find you later. Trust me on that. Leave me be. Can't you see that I'm busy? Are you one of the Sith from the Academy? Isn't that obvious? You must be very sharp to possess such an astute sense of perception. Obviously death, however, since I asked you to leave. Can I ask you some questions? No, you may not. I'm busy amusing myself, and I'm not going to miss any of the fun. Now get lost before I teach you a lesson. All right. of a student of this facility. Please, leave at once. I'm Darth Revan. I was Lord of the Sith. Let me in. I see. And who might your friends be? It's obvious you don't believe me, but I really am Darth Revan. 
On your way, citizen. Fair enough. Okay, so I gotta figure out how to fucking join the academy. Why did you decide to come with me? You got yourself a fast little ship. <laughs> I forgot what engine sounded like. The closest thing to that on Kashik is an Uller in mating season. Oh, frightful. So you wanted to ride on my ship? Or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of a synthesizer on this bucket anyway? Do you never clean the darn thing? If you don't want to answer the question, old man, just say so. How impatient can one person be? You must have driven your mother mad. All that gurgling and fussing. Babies are cute, but annoying. You know, you remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny. All of that. Breath like a panther. You're avoiding the question. So I am. Tell you what, when you get to be my age, you can go ahead and answer any question you like to. You have my permission. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Andor Vex was his name. The Force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. Never heard of him. No, you wouldn't have. Sometimes swirling force is just swirling force. It gets us old Jedi's excited at our age, so we go, Ooh, destiny. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. Is there supposed to be some hidden meaning in this? I don't know. Are you overconfident? I hadn't noticed. Even if I had, I would never comment on it. We're talking about Andor, remember? Let's see. Oh yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. As boring as this story? You know, if you keep interrupting, it will take even longer. Have you no patience at all? How did you get as old as you are, anyway? I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians. But at the time, they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Krat. Tall fellow, big teeth. Krat has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for questioning. And that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. Andor killed Krat, I take it. Of course he did. Haven't you been listening? It was not in the way you probably expect, though. Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable. Starts making all sorts of demands. Free me now. I'm not answering questions. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you know who I am? Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed, too. This could have just been gurgling noises. No, no, anyway. Finally, Krat has enough of Andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Maybe Andor hit something sensitive on the way down, or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next thing I know, all the ship's alarms are ringing. You're kidding. Everyone panics, and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly, and the Dimians never quite recover. Change the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd call that quite a destiny, wouldn't you? But how can you even be sure that Andor was responsible? What? Are you kidding? What are the odds of that happening anyway? A billion to one? You should do so well as to be sucked into the engine of some evil Sith Lord, you know. Andor was a hero. Sort of. Anyway, go on. My throat is dry and you're making me cranky. Shoo! Hey.
No. Heart. Is there something you need, Jedi? Make it good for I have little patience. Why did you call me Jedi? You think me a fool? You think I do not recognize a lightsaber when I see it? You are far from the first Jedi who has come here after all, willing to abandon that decrepit order of yours. And who are you? Who am I? You must not have been in Korriban for very long. Either that or you have been feeling your way about blindly. Luckily for you, I am in a charitable mood. I am Yuthura Ban, second only to Master Uthar of the Sith Academy here in Dresde. I am the one who decides which of the few of the many hopefuls who travel here to train actually become a Sith. Why? Is it your desire to enter the Academy? Is that why you are here? And what if I said I was already a Sith? I would consider that an amusing ploy to try and enter the Academy. Why? Who will you claim to be? Darth Malak himself? What about Darth Revan? What about Revan? Revan is dead. You may have a natural gift for the Force, human, but you've no gift for lies. I see. And about joining you. You've heard enough, have you? <laughs> so what is it to be? Are you here to be a Sith or not? Yes. I want to join the Sith. Ah, oh, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. Obviously, you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? Yes, but only very little. As I thought. How interesting that they would let one with such power out of their grasp. Or are you here to spy on us? For all the good it would do. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? Again? I suppose that would interest me, yes. Hmm. A strange response indeed. Is your mind maladjusted in some way? You should make for an interesting pupil indeed. I will take you to the Academy, and we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume? They're slaves. Do not worry about them. My hearing's not so good. I'm just pleased my nice master doesn't beat me so much anymore. Yes, sir. There's something odd about this servant of yours. No matter. Make sure they don't disturb your training or cause trouble. You are responsible for them. Now, are you ready to go to the Academy? Yes. Yes, I am. Then let us leave. The Master of the Academy awaits you. Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. I met this one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? I know more about the Sith than you. I've just forgotten. Indeed. Then perhaps you would care to demonstrate for us the powers of a Sith Master. No? Then perhaps you shall keep your foolishness to yourself and actually learn something. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. 
Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? I am ready to learn more. Are you? I can see into your heart, young human, and I see the dark kernel that is there. If it is ready to sprout, remains to be seen. Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again. If you survive, my pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me of it will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here. There you are, my favorite prospect for the year. Your favorite prospect? Absolutely. By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Absolutely. Good. I do so adore someone who's willing to take a chance. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership. And what's so important about this tomb? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Well... You don't say. Well, the Master loves tombs, don't you, Master? Reaching that map, as they did, is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. You want me to kill Master Uthar? Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone, or as if you will get nothing out of it. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. And what's to stop me from telling him about this? I suppose you could do that. Even the hint of betrayal from his pupil and Uthar would move to eliminate me. But this is a very good opportunity for you. You can start off your Sith career as the right hand of the head of the Academy. Me, Uthar will not offer you that. Do you believe Uthar would not be aware of this? He would quickly figure out what you have to gain by betraying him, and would never believe someone would pass that up. Tell Master Uthar what you wish. Were I you, I would think first of what the consequences of such an action might be. Very well. I agree. I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. I'll be going. You have had an excellent start. Go, gain more prestige. Okay, I can't rob her. Well, that sucks. 
right. Something on Nope. Oh, I get it. You? I remember you from the colony. I can't believe you actually made it into the academy. I remember you. I challenge you to a duel. A duel? Fine. You run along and get ready while I go gain some prestige. Idiot. Hmm. Well. I remember you. You're all right. Trying for the Academy, I see. So are you, obviously. That's true. I had no idea you were coming for the Academy when I met you in the colony, though. And who are you? The name's Shardan. Didn't I tell you that back in the colony? Maybe not. I have to go. You and me both. We're going to have to get some prestige quick. Right. On this side. No, can't just go that. Okay. Well. Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. You will have to work quickly if you hope to best the others. And how do I gain prestige? Oh, it is no more complicated than I said. Perform impressive deeds, or bring me a suitably valuable artifact from the Valley of the Dark Lords. Really, however, you should seek out Euthura and get her advice. She is your trainer, after all, yes? And where is this valley? There is an exit that leads to the surface of the planet. The valley is only a short trip from there. It is not difficult to find. I'll be on my way. Indeed. You have much to do yet. If you're here to use the dueling room, go ahead. I'm through with it for the moment. I challenge you to a duel. No, I'm pretty good right now. Maybe not. Thanks. No problem. You aren't even a full Sith. Well. Okay. Maybe you could do better than I. This Mandalorian is proving more resistant than I expected. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get him to tell us where his weapon cache is hidden. So far, all the serum combinations I'm using are proving ineffective. If I bring his drug threshold too high, he'll go into shock and be useless. Too low, and he just refuses to talk. It's mad. You want me to try it? Certainly. Uh, just don't kill him or send him into shock. He's supposed to be questioned, not executed. If you manage to get the location of his cash out of him, I'll be sure to pass on the good word to Master Yutha. We... 
Wata Yuma Wama Huhu Nadete. Ah, Shotuni Batoga. Wano Kuspe Ching Palabule Toke. Not to put the prisoner into shock, didn't I? Now, how are we supposed to find out where the weapon cache is? Yutha will be furious. Now, I may as well take this fool and dump him somewhere. He's useless to us. I cannot believe you are so incompetent. Yes. Can you help me? <laughs> As if I didn't have better things to do. Has anyone told you about Jorak Um? No. Who's that? Well, the first thing you should know is that it's not a name you should mention around Master Uthar if you can avoid it. Jorak Um was once Uthar's master, you see, and the head of this academy. He went a little insane, however, and Uthar forced him to flee to the surface and hide. It seems that Jorak has been spending his time kidnapping students who wander into the Valley of the Dark Lords. No idea why. I've also no idea why Uthar doesn't do something about it. If you want prestige, however, you'll find that hermit, as everyone calls him. You'll find Jorak and either kill him or bring back anything he's been writing. Uthar would like that. Now be gone. I have better things to do than chat with lost hopefuls. All right, then. How shall we deal with you?
Where you at, old man? Jesus fucking Christ, come on. <laughs> Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? The contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but it's home. It. I'll kill you for this, old man. Oh, oh spiteful little thing, aren't you? Let's not forget it. Who has who? No, 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 no. Let's keep things on a more civilized note, shall we? Now then, introductions are always the place to start, if I remember correctly. This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Miko. Say hello, Miko. <coughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. I don't care who you are. You're dead. Oh, my, my, my. Such glorious vim. If I could bottle it and drink it, I would. <laughs> There's a thought. Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, 
I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him. Didn't I, Miko? Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. And what if I told you I was Darth Revan? <laughs> then I'd say you have quite an imagination. Not a bad thing, but not quite what I'm looking for in a proper Sith. And if I pass your test? Why then you go free. I'll even pass on to you my own personal thesis on ancient Sith philosophy. They're based on all I've learned studying two lacks too. They'll make you a better Sith, I'm sure. The chances of you passing, however, are sadly remote. Go ahead. Do your worst. Now, now, is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. So then. This is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Miko. Get it wrong, and I torture you. Miko here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. I you get too many wrong, and you die yourself. I don't know what you think of Miko. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Here's your chance, fair enough. Go ahead. Well then, any last comments before we begin, Miko? We could both survive. Attacking together. Now, now, dear lad, do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die? Hmm? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? I use the opportunity to kill him and take his position. Correct. He was a fool to let down his guard. You will not make the same mistake, and the Sith as a whole benefit. You see, Miko, it's not so difficult. Time for your punishment. And so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What do you do? I take the reward and leave the weak fools to their fate. Correct! The humans would no doubt just be preyed upon by something else later. Stand up for yourself, I say! We're not Jedi shepherds, after all. Sadly, Miko, the ingenuity of your fellow student is your loss. This is going to hurt. Let's see. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? I keep it to myself. Correct! Let them rip the secret from your cold, dead hands if they are strong enough. Oh, certainly you might share it with a few selected minions, but that, of course, is a completely different story. <laughs> well, it's sad to say, but it's that time again, Miko. Ah! Oh, Miko has gone and died on us. Ah, and here I thought it was good for at least one more. Is young Miko dead? I suppose you've gone and passed my little test, haven't you? I think you must have cheated a little. But there's nothing wrong with a Sith cheating a little. I'll keep my word. I'll just give you my tablet. Perhaps we'll meet again soon. That would be fun, no?
now. Let me through. Thank you. Yes? One. Yes. 
Systems overloading must destroy source of disturbance, must kill sentience. We might as well explore the last tune. Oh, hello to you. You're new to the Academy, aren't you? I can't say we've ever met. And who are you? Galen Lore, at your service. Aren't these tunes fascinating? We had no idea the Sith were here so long ago. Why not? Aren't there records? Not from this far back. Or at least what records do exist are sketchy at best. These ruins date back to a period when the Sith were first formed, before their exile into the far reaches of space. It's quite fascinating. And what are you doing here? I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of Ajunta Paul. And who is Ajunta Paul? Ajunta Paul was one of the first of the great Sith Lords. He rebelled against his Jedi Masters and led the way for the rest of us that followed. These ruins claim that he was interred here, 
And I wonder if his sword might not be here as well. His sword? According to legend, a junta paw created a sword of terrible power. Someone who located it could gain considerable prestige. Well, why don't you go in then? No, these tombs are certainly not harmless. Don't think that. The sword may be tempting, but I'm not about to risk my life to find it. Are you a coward then? No. Well, I, I, I want power as much as the next person, but I'm not stupid. I know what I'm capable of. I've got to be going. Of course. Uh, don't let me keep you from your business. supposed to do in here. Can't go around it. Huh. No, I don't want to leave quite yet. Because there's got to be something I can do here.
I'm gonna come back to this. this way to the caves. Hold it right there, whoever you are. We're not going back to the Academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. Go back? What are you talking about? You mean you aren't here to kill us or bring us back? I find that hard to believe. The only way into these caves is through the Academy. You must be a Sith. So what is it then? If you're not here to kill us or bring us back, why are you here? Speak up! You're... You're the renegade students. The ones who ran away. So you have heard about us. Yes, we ran away before Master Uthar could execute us. Is that so hard to believe? 
My name is Thalion May. The others here and myself refused to murder a bunch of people on a whim from Master Uthar. So here we are. We thought that becoming a Sith was what we always wanted, but that wasn't true. Now all we want is to get out of here. Fair enough? Sorry. Time for you to die. Open fire! Get them! Get them! Actually... in here. Excuse me, Candorous.
Charging the pulse chain again. And you need Yeah, sure. Too long, too long in the cold and the dark. I am disturbed again. Oh, a human. Well, this you don't see every day. This, this is an old spirit full of the Force. I sense great sadness and regret. Walk carefully. Do I know you? 
It seems as if we have met before. I was here once before, I think. Do you remember me? I do. And yet I do not. The force is so strong with you, human. Yet the face, the soul... It has been so very long. Are you Ajunta Paul? I had a name once. Ajunta Paul. Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the dark side. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid. Hid from those we had betrayed. We fell. And I knew it would be so. What do you mean, those we had betrayed? Our Jedi Masters. Those who had taught us to use the Force. Who warned us against the dark side. Yet we embraced it in secret. Reveled in its power. We were... Uh, discovered. Did we act? I can no longer remember. But here is where we came, to hide, to grow, and here we fell. Why do you remain here? Remain? Do I remain? I have regretted for so long all that I have done. My sword, I filled it with my pride, and it is buried with me now. A corpse, as I am a corpse. I am dead as my faith is dead. And I shall remain here, surrounded by blackness, in death as in life. I need this sword you speak of. Of course you do. You seek my power. Will it destroy you as it did me? I wish my sword to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I have. I command this of you. Fine, I'll gladly take it out of here. There are three blades within my sarcophagus. Only one is truly my sword. But it has been so long, I do not remember which. Find the sword that is mine and place it on the statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. And if the sword isn't yours? Then you must die. This is how it must be. And how will I know which sword it is? I do remember one thing of my sword. Listen to me carefully. I am that which grips the heart in fright, hearkens night and silences the light. It was written of my sword long, long ago. Go then, and find my sword and place it on the statue. Yes, that is the one. That is the blade that destroyed me. Take it. Take it and the other blades even. Take them and go. My darkness awaits me. I want to know more about the smart map. Our oldest secret is buried, but not here. I remember nothing else. I cannot help you. I'll go then. Do not let the dark flame guide you, young one. All right, let's go back to the academy. Hello, friend. 
I saw you come in here, and I rather figured you'd make it all the way to the sarcophagus. Good to see I wasn't wrong. Sardan, what do you want? Isn't it obvious? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword of Ajunt Paul for some time. It's been quite a wait. <laughs> Type of guy. Always ready to jump at what they perceive to be the easier path. Now that you have it, I just thought I'd relieve you of it. It must be quite a burden after all. No. I think I'll manage with it just fine. Kind of you to offer, though. Oh, but I insist. I'm not about to let a chance to impress Master Uthar pass me by. I may like you well enough, but being a Sith is all about taking chances when the moment is right. So make it easier on both of us. Hand over the sword. I'm not giving it to you. Need to do things the hard way, eh? Fine by me. Let's head back to the academy. Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little <laughs> prestige. You will have to work quickly if you hope to best the others. I dealt with those renegade students. Ah, the ones I ordered executed for their mutiny. It's done then? Yes, they are all dead. Indeed. I had the caverns checked after you left. Well done. The lesson is learned, I believe. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. I have the sword of the Junta Paul. Ah, finally, the genuine sword. I knew that this relic would be unearthed in time. I can feel the power flowing through it. Well done. You have impressed me greatly. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. We'll see about that. I dealt with the rogue droid in the tombs. Yes, so I hear. I've had reports from some students that ventured into the tomb after you left and found the parts. Well done. I am impressed. You have rid us of a potential nuisance. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. And I found Jork Un, the hermit in the hills. Ah, my old master. Still, unless you bring back something of his, some writings are similar, I am unimpressed. Jorak's fate means nothing to me. I have a tablet written by Jorak Un. Oh? Let me see. It appears my old master was busy studying the writings in one of the tombs. How interesting. I do hope you had to pry this from his dead fingers. Regardless, you have impressed me with your worthy act. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. I've killed Shardan. Yes, so I hear. Still, it was Shardan's failure. 
And hardly your success now, was it? Not quite worthy of prestige. I've killed Meikle. Maybe it's better to say that Meikle is dead, yes? Considering the circumstances, I am unimpressed. Though you do now have one less opponent. I'll be on my way. You have gained considerable prestige. You are very close to the end. Do not falter now. Okay. So you managed to kill Shardon, did you? Good news travels quickly. Well done. He wouldn't have made a good Sith anyway. One less opponent is an excellent result, regardless of how it occurs, correct? Now then, something you needed. Can you tell me about the code of the Sith? I can help you understand it. Would you like to hear it? Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? Peace is a lie. There's only passion? The Jedi would have you believe that peace is a desirable goal. That peace of the spirit is the way the Force is mastered. That a lack of conflict betters man. We know different. It is our passion. Our hate and our desire that fuels the Force. It is conflict that improves the lot of civilization and single being both. Conflict forces one to better oneself. It forces change, growth, adaption, evolution, or death. These are not our laws, but the universe's. Without conflict, you have only stagnation. Through strength, I gain power. The stronger you become in the Force, the more power you will achieve. But always must you fight for your power. Without strife, your victory has no meaning. Without strife, you do not advance. Without strife, there is only stagnation. Through power, I gain victory. How many sorts of victories can you imagine? Peaceful victory, victory by sacrifice, a truce, an achievement. Unless the victory is achieved by demonstrating that your power is superior, it is only an illusion, temporary at best. We seek more. Through victory, my chains are broken. This has been argued over, and often. The chains represent our restrictions, both those placed upon us and those we place upon ourselves. Ultimately, the goal of any Sith is to free herself from such restrictions. In a way, it is so we may do whatever we wish, but it is much more than that. One who has freed themselves from all restrictions has reached perfection, their potential fulfilled, perfect strength, Perfect power, perfect destiny. Imagine it. That is our ideal, at any rate. It is said in Sith legend that the Sithari, the perfect being, will one day lead us. But perhaps that is just a legend. You don't think the Sithari exist? I wonder what that being would be like. The legends say the Sithari will destroy us and make us stronger than ever. But perhaps that is just a legend. Perfection is a goal, I think, rather than a state of being. The Jedi would argue that, no doubt. The Force shall free me. The Force is our servant and our master, our teacher and our companion, a weapon and a tool. Know it, and you know the universe. Master it, and you master the universe. 
Strive for perfection and the force shall reward you. I think I got it. I am not surprised. The force is strong with you. Master it and it shall serve you well. And how do I get more prestige? You must impress Master Uthar. Go to him with news of your deeds or artifacts you have discovered. The code of the Sith is the easiest way to start. I have told you all that you need to know of it already. I would suggest you talk to the other prospective Sith and find one you can gain an advantage with. I believe Lasha would be an excellent choice. She is too trusting. I have little doubt you could talk her into letting you help her somehow. Just make sure it is you who gains the advantage, not her. Be ruthless if you must. That is the only thing that will impress Uthar. The only other idea I can suggest to you is that you head into the Valley of the Dark Lords on the surface. There are ancient ruins there which can be explored. It's possible you might find some artifacts or information in them which would please Uthar. It's difficult to say for certain. I'll be going. You are very close to succeeding. Work quickly. Okay. So let's find... Watch your face. Over here, I shall. Okay. You? I remember you from the colony. I can't believe you actually made it into the academy. You're trying to become a Sith as well. Just figure that out, did you? <laughs> it just so happens that I have a surefire way of pulling ahead in this little contest of ours. You don't really have a chance. Perhaps we could work together. Now, where are you going? Shut up, old man. And don't spoil anything or I'll twist that scrawny neck of yours. It was just an idle question. Don't get so testy, damn it. <sighs> Forget it. I'm not going to be tricked so easily. Just move along now. Hmm. Well. Greetings, young one. You have done very well for yourself so far. Continue and your promise shall be fulfilled. I know the code of the Sith. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only... Passion. Through passion, I gain... Strength. Through strength, I gain... Power. Through power, I gain... Victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Yes, good. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. Tell me then, true or false, victory by any means is desirable. True. False. Unless victory proves your Fuck. superiority, it is an illusion. It is temporary. Sadly, it seems you did not understand the code as well as I thought. I'll be on my way. You have gained considerable prestige. You are very close to the end. Do not falter now. <whistles> Greetings, young one. You have done very well for yourself so far. Continue and your promise shall be fulfilled. I know the code of the Sith. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only... Passion. Through passion, I gain... Strength. Through strength, I gain... Power. Through power, I gain... Victory. Through victory? My chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Yes, good. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. Tell me then, true or false? It is our passion that fuels the Force. Mm, true. Well done. I will test you no more. You know the code. Very impressive. You have impressed me enough, by my estimation, to become a Sith in full. Congratulations, young one. 
You have bested the others quite completely. You have but one final test which you must take, and this requires us to travel to the tomb of Nagasato in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I would advise you to be rested and equipped before we leave. Return to your quarters now and seek me out in the morning. When you return, make sure that you have all you will need, for you will face your test alone. Go, and may the Force serve you well. Well... And you need... Yeah, sure. No sense wasting time. Let's get right to it. So then, I take it you are ready to travel to the tomb of Nagasado. Your final test should not be delayed. I'm ready to go. Then we go now. Oh boy. Very well. We are now ready for your final test, young Sith. You have earned the right to see if you shall become one of us. Indeed you have. I dislike your tone, you thorough. What are you up to now? Nothing, of course, my master. I was merely agreeing with you. Should we not get on with the test? Yes. Yes, of course. We are in the sacred tomb of Nagasato, young one. The one discovered by Darth Malak and Darth Revan years ago. You are to follow in their footsteps and reach the ancient star map that lies deep within. There you will find a lightsaber, amongst other things. The lightsaber is for you, your initiation present. Return to us once you have it. For you, the test does not end there. Be very cautious here. This tomb is like the others in this valley and many of its old defenses remain active. Do you understand what I have told you? Are you ready to begin? Find the star map, return with the lightsaber. I understand. Good. Euthora and I will await your return. Uh... that we're going to find out. Uh. 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 
Fuck, I don't wanna fucking die. I don't wanna fucking die. I don't wanna fucking die. God damn it, don't let me fucking die. Fuck. I'm stuck in here. Fuck. God damn it. Fuck. Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking hell. One more to fucking kill. I don't know. Fucking. I don't know. Fucking force to kill him. Fucking hell, god damn.
You know, I should probably fucking save. Okay. No, you're not. I know you're good. All right. Well. So, you return to us with the lightsaber in hand, as I knew you would. The Force has served you well. You took a great risk in acquiring the artifact. You used your mind and your power. No peaceful meditation, no pacifism. Sometimes you must fight in order to achieve. This gives you your passion. This makes you stronger. This is what makes you superior. That is the lesson we teach with that part of the final test. Do you understand? I wouldn't necessarily say I exerted myself getting this. Perhaps not to someone of your natural strength. The point is in the recognition of the nature of the act rather than its sheer difficulty. I think I understand. Good. The last part of your test will now commence. Here, you will learn the lesson of competition. All life must compete in order to flourish. Such is the natural way of the universe. To stand still is to know death. One must always be moving forward. So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or die, mercy is irrelevant. So it behooves you in this final test to strike down one you are familiar with for no other reason than to prove you are superior and without mercy. Normally, this would be against another student. You, however, get a special treat. You will fight Euthora here, my own apprentice. What? So this is what you had planned all along? You wish me killed? Indeed. You have become too ambitious, Euthora. It is time for you to die and someone more talented to take your place. No. It is time for you to die, Master. My pupil stands with me. Oh, is this true, young one? You wish to join Euthura in her foolish scheme? Sorry, Uthar. I'm with Euthura on this one. Do you hear that, my master? That is the sound of a new leader rising to replace you. So the time has come, has it? You both wish to stand against a Sith Master and perish, do you? Then so be it! I was gonna kill you anyway, Sith. This just makes it easy. Then you should have no trouble defending yourself, for what it's worth. I have no problem with that. Die. <laughs> <laughs> 
then it ends here. Well, damn it. I have to go back to the fucking academy. I go way back to the fucking. And I'm sure someone's gonna give me fucking shit. I'm sure I can... Oh, yep. These three idiots. I'm sure. You there. How is it that you're leaving Nagasado's tomb by yourself? You went in for your final test, didn't you? Where is Master Uthar? I am Riven. I have killed the Master. You must do bow down before me. You lie! You could never have killed the Master. This is your last chance. Bow down or die. You are not Revan. Quick, attack the traitor! But even if it's not Revan, what if Master Uthar is actually dead? Someone who could kill the Master. If Master Uthar is dead, then he was a weak fool. Now attack! I shall be the new Dark Lord of Korriban. to fight through a bunch of bullshit. Yep. But at least I got my friends back. That's good. Ah! <laughs> 
God damn, Candorous. Yes? All right. I didn't drop anything. What is this, some kind of con game? Kuyami juz chikata na patoga ya hulki koko gala chichi. Kawa na bot atagwa. Kaki dora te kun watati mona iya bola. Uh, thanks. Runda di hotunga kun hunkami. Wana kun bez ching palamule tunking ba nunotek. Tuk nincha tu kun ne mule rabes. Achuta, unga kun bis dolpi kiko yana. Dong patugas mak delia. Now, can I possibly? No. You at old man? There you are. All right. We've got all the pieces of the lightsaber, or the lightsaber of the uh, all the star maps. Go back to Tatooine because we haven't got the the droid. But we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching, and as always, like and subscribe, and may the force be with you. See you next week.